happy morning children welcome to our class 9th standard subject science unit 2 unit name motion topic motions of freely falling body one activity you start the lesson take a large stone and a small eraser stand on the top of a table and drop them simultaneously from the same height what do you observe now take a small eraser and a sheet of paper drop them simultaneously from the same height what do you observe this time take two sheet of the paper having same mass of crumpled one of the sheet into ball now drop the sheet and the ball from the same height what do you observe activity you can observe that both the stone and the eraser reach the surface of the earth almost at the same time when you drop the eraser and the paper the eraser reaches first and the sheet of the paper reaches later you can also observe the paper crumpled into a ball reaches ground first and a plain sheet of the paper reaches later although they have equal mass do you know the reason when all these objects are dropped in the absence of air medium vacuum all would have reached the ground at the same time in air medium air offers some resistance to the motions of free falling objects but it is negligibly small when compared to the gravitational pull acting on the stone and the rubber hence they reach the ground at the same time it can be seen from this activity that the magnitude of air resistance depends on the area of the object exposed to air we know that an object experience acceleration during free fall the acceleration experienced by an object is independent of mass this means that all object hollow or solid big or small should fall at the same rate the equations of motion for a freely falling body can be obtained by replacing a in equations with g the acceleration due to gravity for a freely falling body which is initially at rest so u is equal to 0 thus we get the following equation v equal to gt s equal to 1 by 2 gt square v square equal to 2 gh next one uniform circular motion activity take a piece of thread and tie a small piece of stone at one of its ends rotate the stone to describe a circular path with constant speed by holding the thread at the other end now release the thread and let the stone go can you tell this this direction in which the stone move after it is released if you carefully observe and behind release the stone moves along a straight line tangentially to the circular path this is because once the stone is released it continues to move along the direction it has been moving at that instant this so that the direction of motion changes at every point when the stone was moving along a circular path when an object is moving with a constant speed along a circular path the velocity changes due to the change in direction hence it is an accelerated motion for example revolution of earth around the sun revolution of moon around the earth and the tip of seconds hand of the clock are all accelerated motion if an object moving along a circular path of radius r take time capital t to come back to its star, starting position then the speed v is given by speed equal to circumference by time taken v is equal to 2 by r divided by capital t next one 
centric pedal acceleration and centric pedal force a body is said to be accelerated if the velocity of the body changes either in magnitude or in direction so the motions of a stone in the circular path with constant speed and continuous changes of direction is an accelerated motion in this case there must be an acceleration acting along the spin directed inward which makes the stone to move in circular path this acceleration is known as central pedal acceleration and the force is known as central pedal force let us consider an object of mass m moving along a circular path of radius r with a velocity v its centric pedal acceleration is given by a equal to v square by r the magnitude of centric pedal force is given by capital f is equal to mass into centric pedal acceleration so capital f is equal to m v square by r to an centrifugal force take a piece of rope and tie a small stone at one end hold the other end of the rope and rotate it such that the stone follow a circular path do you experience and pull or push it is your hand in this activity a pulling force that acts away from the center is experienced this is called as centrifugal force force acting on a body away from the center of the circular path is called centrifugal force this centrifugal force act in a direction which is opposite to the direction of central pedal force this magnitude is same as that of central pedal force and dryer in the washing machine is example for the application of centrifugal force and next one problem a 900 kg car moving at 10 meter second power minus 1 takes a turn around a circle with a radius of 25 meter determine the acceleration and the net force acting upon the car solution when the car turn around circle it experiences centric pedal acceleration a equal to u squared by r a equal to 10 whole square divided by 25 100 by 25 4 meter second power minus 2 net force acting upon the car f equal to ma 900 into 4 equal to 3600 newton next the problem a ball is gently dropped from a height of 20 meter if it is velocity increases uniformly at the rate of 10 meter per second square then with what velocity will it strike the ground after what time will it strike the ground solution initial velocity u is equal to 0 drop gently acceleration a is equal to 10 meter per second square height s is equal to 20 meter find velocity v is equal to question mark and time taken t is equal to question mark use third equation of motion v square equal to u square plus 2as v square equal to 0 plus 2 into 10 into 20 v squared equal to 400 v equal to 20 meter per second using the second equation of motion we get s equal to ut plus 1 by 2 at square 20 equal to 0 into t plus 1 by 2 into t into t square t square equal to 4 t equal to 2 second an athlete completes one round of a circular track of diameter 200 meter in 40 second what will be the distance covered and the displacement at the end of 2 meter and 20 second answer here we have diameter equal to 200 meter therefore radius equal to 200 meter by 2 is equal to 100 meter time of on rotation is equal to 40 second Time after 2 meter 20 seconds equal to 2 into 60 second plus 20 seconds equal to 140 second. 
distance after 140 second question mark displacement after 140 second equal to question mark circular track with a diameter of 200 meter we know that velocity along a circular path equal to circumference by time v equal to 2 by r by 40 second v equal to 2 into 3.14 into 100 meter by 40 second v equal to 628 meter by 40 second v is equal to 15.7 meter by second a distance after 140 second we know that distance equal to velocity into time distance equal to 15.7 meter per second into 140 second equal to 2198 meter b displacement after 2 minutes to 20 second that is in 140 second we know that distance equal to velocity into time since rotation in 40 seconds equal to 1 rotation in 1 second equal to 1 by 40 rotation in 140 second equal to 1 by 40 into 140 equal to 3.5 in 3.5 rotation athlete will be just at the opposite side of a circular track at the distance equal to the diameter of the circular track which equal to 200 meter distance covered in 2 meters 20 second 2198 meter displacement after 2 minutes 20 second 200 meter the next problem a racing car has a uniform acceleration of 4 meter per second square what distance it cover in 10 second after the start here we have acceleration a is equal to 4 meter per second square initial velocity is equal to 0 time t is equal to 10 second distance s yes, covered is equal to question mark we know that s yes, equal to ut plus 1 by 2 at square s yes, equal to open bracket 0 into 10 second close to bracket plus open bracket half into 4 meter per second squared into open bracket 10 second whole square close to bracket equal to half into 4 meter per second squared into 100 second square equal to 2 into 100 meters equal to 200 meter thus racing car will cover a distance of 200 meter after start in 10 seconds with the given acceleration. Thank you, children.